So already, I just got back from Home Depot. I, uh, while filming uh, the Pro Black Friday uh, sale, I wanted to make a purchase for the Milwaukee Black Friday sale, and that's what I did. I got the, the $400 Milwaukee fuel kit, and for the free tools, I got the reciprocating saw and then this uh, six and a half inch circular saw. So those are the tools of choice that I did. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're just going to unbox these and see what all uh, these tools look like and see how they are. So let's uh, just get to that. Oh, this thing is sharp. Look at that. That is a sharp, sharp knife. That is sharp. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. You gotta admit, the Milwaukee with the red and white, it, that looks really good. It really does. Now, I do wish this, I'm not, I, because I'm not a contractor, I'm not a fan of the hard case, because I won't be throwing it, tools into my, into my uh, vehicle. So I would rather have a bag than the hard case. Look at that. Everything's all molded in its spot. And of course it comes with instructions and warranty. So this is actually a charger for both the M18 and M12. That's actually extremely smart of them to do. The M12 goes in there, the M18 goes right here. So very good, we got the charger. Got the hammer drill ha uh, handle. What are these batteries at? The batteries are dead. Batteries will need to be uh, changed out. Now this is not a sel uh, selective mode one, is it? It does. It does have a, a locking noise. That's speed two. Speed one. Well, the batteries are dead, so we're going to have to let the batteries charge up for a little bit. But that is the, the fuel hammer drill. The grip feels pretty good, actually. Grip feels really good. Like I said, in the, before, it gets skinny at the bottom. so. But it, it does feel good in my hand, though. It does. It does. And then it comes with two 5-amp-hour uh, batteries. These are not high capacity. But the battery is dead. The battery will need to be charged up. And then here is the quarter inch hex uh, Milwaukee fuel. This one is speed selective on the bottom right here. And it ha also has a, a self tapping a screw setting. That is extremely compact. Look, look at look at the size of that. That's really really compact. Again, it got the second five amp hour battery. Not too not too shabby at all. Now the batteries could look a little bit more high tech than just a than just a rectangle, but it's okay though. It's a battery. That is awesome goes in there. Let's close this up, assuming I'm going to put this in correctly. Yes, it does. It is a nice hard case. It is a nice hard case. Right, so the next thing we're going to unbox is the reciprocating saw. Very sharp knife. Seriously, very sharp knife. This thing is awesome. Be being careful with that. So this is tool only. I believe this is a brushed system. All right, so it's three, uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. Anti-vibration, counterbalance mechanism, blade clamp, 18, the length of it is 18 inches, and this is a, uh, the weight is 7.4 pounds. 7.4 pounds. And just like on the grip of the, uh, that actually looks, that looks cooler 
than what you what you see on the box. Like I said, the battery's dead, so you're not gonna get much juice out of it. But there you go. Now I believe this is brushed. Yep, it's brushed. See the sparks in there? Sorry if you can't, but yeah, it is brushed. Very good. This is going to be a good, one of the good competitive ones to Ryobi versus Milwaukee. But very good. That is tool number, technically number three. The final free tool. Look at that. And it does come with uh, 24, tooth uh, 24 tooth blade, six and a half inch. And like I said, the more teeth you have on the blade, the smoother your cut is gonna be. Then you get the tool itself. Very good. Let's actually zoom in on this one. Very good. Grips feel good. That motor is beefy. That motor's big. Let's put a battery in it. Oh, I don't know if you if you could if it's smart to dry run the blades, uh, the motor without a blade on it, but. There has to be an Allen key. And to lock up the blade, there's a little tab right here. Remember, when you put blades on, it's uh, righty, loosey, righty loosey, lefty tighty. Take that one off. Just like that. Put a battery in it. Let's see what it sounds like. Like I said, the battery's dead, so you're not gonna get you're not, not gonna sound like a lot of power right now. I like the blade stops immediately. Very good. It's a it's a nice looking uh it's a nice looking tool. It really is. Six and a half inch blade. We are gonna test the crap out of this uh out of all these tools later. So this has been this has been the unboxing of the Milwaukee Black Friday sale that I took advantage of, and uh, and yeah, so we are going to test the crap out of all these tools and do a lot of versus videos between Makita, DeWalt, Ryobi, Rigid, of course Milwaukee. And so yeah, uh, this is a, it's, a, it's seriously a nice uh, little quarter uh, hex impact that it's powerful too. The size of it is ac actually crazy. So they're actually going to start setting up the actual Black Friday day sale soon. They, they, they're uh, they're going to have prices up there but you can't buy them yet. Uh, you have to wait till the Black Friday, but I'm going to go around and film that as well. So please so stick around to be notified of that. I think that's going to happen sometime next week. So just stick around for that. So that's pretty much it for this episode. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.